Welcome to AlgebraClass.com. We are going to be looking at solving multiplication equations, and this time with a focus on fractions. Example number four on the website is negative three-fifths x equals two. Now I know that sometimes fractions really scare a lot of people, but when we think about how we're going to get x by itself, this equation is not that difficult to solve. We know that negative three-fifths x means negative three-fifths times x. So typically we would use the opposite operation in order to solve the equation. The opposite of multiplication is division. Now when we divide fractions, we don't use the division sign and actually divide. The rule is, is that we multiply by the reciprocal in order to divide fractions. Therefore, when I take a look at three-fifths as a fraction, I need to know that the reciprocal means that I'm going to take this fraction and actually flip it. So the reciprocal is five-thirds. So when we divide fractions, we actually multiply by the reciprocal. That means that in order to get x by itself, I need to multiply by the reciprocal. And I'm actually going to do this right to the left-hand side of this equation. I'm going to multiply negative five-thirds on the left-hand side because negative five-thirds is the reciprocal of negative three-fifths. And I'm also going to do that on the right-hand side as well in order to keep my equation balanced. I'm going to do the same operation to both sides. Now, the reason why this works is that on the left-hand side, I can simplify 5 and 5. Here they simplify to 1. And my 3 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator also simplify to 1. So in the end, I end up with 1 times x, which we know is just x. And again, since I multiplied by a negative number, a negative times a negative leaves me with a positive x. Now on the right-hand side, I have the whole number 2 times negative 5 thirds. I'm going to go ahead and make this a fraction so that it looks a little easier to multiply. And when I multiply 2 times negative 5, I end up with negative 10 and 1 times 3 in the denominator is 3. So I end up with x equals negative 10 thirds as my answer. Now we need to check that by taking the original equation, which is negative 3 fifths x equals 2. And I'm going to substitute negative 10 thirds for x. And we need to see if that does indeed equal 2. Now, you could simplify or multiply straight across negative 3 times negative 10 is negative 30, and 5 times 3 is 15. And I know that negative 30 divided by 15 is 2. So I do end up with 2 equals 2. Or, just to show you another way that you could simplify, especially if you get larger numbers um, in other problems, I know that a 3 in the numerator and a 3 in the denominator simplify to 1. And I know that I can also simplify the ten, negative 10 in the numerator and the 5 in the denominator. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I end up with 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. So either way you would like to check it is fine. Um, that just shows you two different ways. So I know that since the left-hand side equals 2 and the right-hand side equals 2, that my answer of negative 10 thirds is correct.